Matthew Whitaker can play several instruments. His fingers glide around the piano with amazing ease. This talent has taken him all over the globe, earning him accolades, recording alongside some jazz greats. Quite remarkable, considering he was born three months premature without sight and weighing only two pounds. Doctors told his family he would never walk or speak and gave him less than a 50% chance of survival. He beat every single one of those odds. Hi, my name is Matthew Whitaker and I am at Harlem Stage. Well, I am 20 years old. I am from Hackensack, New Jersey. I'm also blind. I play piano, drums, organ, keyboards, and percussion. Seated at a piano with an organ behind, Matthew swings back and forth, playing both at the same time. The funny thing is, I noticed watching your videos, you were barefoot playing the organ. Yeah. Do you have to be barefoot to play the organ? No, you don't have to, but I just liked it because, you know, I can feel the pedals a bit easier. By age three, he'd already taught himself the piano. As a preteen, he performed with his church's band. And a few years later, his talents took him to the Apollo stage, opening for Stevie Wonder. Now the comparisons to Stevie Wonder, obviously, I'm sure you've heard mm -hmm. them time and time again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've met Stevie when I was about 10 years old uh, at the Apollo Theater. Uh, he was being inducted into the Hall of Fame. I hope to, to, to lab with him one day, because uh, I only had a chance to talk to him briefly before I had to go on stage. What's your favorite Stevie Wonder song? I don't know, all of them. All, all of them, them are, are great. Can you give me a little bit of something? Matthew is so highly skilled, he even had the patience to teach this reporter, who cannot play a single instrument, a few notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got it. Four, three, two. Oh, wait. Oops. Four. That one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you navigate the world that favors, you know, the sighted? It's really just, you know, about, you know, doing your best to find ways to interact. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't let my disability stop me. For me, you know, I you know, use my cane to navigate around. You know, I I have people help me. You know, my parents. And I'll ask someone like if, if like a friend of mine or something. Like, 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 where do I go from here or something like that? Mm -hmm. You know, like when um, when I'm traveling somewhere. But um, yeah, I mean, I love just doing you know you know different activities. Mm -hmm. You know, every now and then. Like know, what? So. Uh, I love uh, rock climbing. Rock climbing? Yeah. Oh my, you're braver than me. I tell you, you're a daredevil. <laughs> what goes through your mind when you play a song? What is mm. it like? Good question. I mean, when I'm playing live, really, I just, you know, I just play, you know? Wow. One thing that just goes to my mind is like, okay, this is coming up next and, you know, you know, and just, just, you know, just little things to, like, re you know, remember, you know, about little things that are just coming up in the song and stuff. But, but really, you know, I, I just, you know, just, just love playing, so I don't really focus on that so much. Mm -hmm. And plus, so since I rehearse with the band a lot, you know, I, you know, we just follow each other, really. Researchers studied this a few years ago and found this is how Matthew's brain illuminates when he's playing. Oh, so on. this is his brain activity from the language. And then let me show you what happens when he goes from this to music. It's lit. So quite, yeah, that is lit. That brain is lit, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to play like a little game now. Oh boy. Um, no, 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 don't be nervous. Uh, let me grab my phone and make it a little easier. I am going to play a song that is popular because you're a specific type of genius where you can hear something and you can just play it, right? Yeah. Let's see if I know it. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Oh it's a good God. one. These talents have taken Matthew all over the world. Belize, Italy, Paris. But as they say, there's no place like home. If I were to ask you to play what New York sounds like, what does that sound like to you? Well, that's kind of what Johnny Uptown is, 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 is about. When I was writing it, um, you know, that was the question that, 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 that was brought up to me, you know? Like, what does New York sound like to you when you're traveling and you're doing Uptown from somewhere? That's why, the, uh, that's why there's this part. The song is off of Matthew's new album, Connections, which he recorded during the pandemic. Connections is really a, an album that really focuses on the connections that I have with other artists and their connections with me. And we just had a fun time in the studio. Matthew was classically trained in Harlem, returning to the legendary New York City venue Harlem stage where he received the organization's prestigious Emerging Artist Award in 2018. The landmark venue, built in 1890, has also welcomed performances by luminaries like Ella Fitzgerald, Harry Belafonte, and Mikhail Baryshnikov. So it's kind of a full circle moment for him. What does this place mean to you? To come back here and perform and have a city release party, like that's, that's amazing. I've been going to Harlem since I was little, you know, <laughs> like when I was about eight, you know, I was going to the Harlem School of the Arts. And when I was nine, you know, I, I went to the Apollo. And I've been to the Harlem stage about three times now. Mm -hmm. So um, again, you know, you know, to come back here is, is truly amazing. <laughs> ever come up to you and say, hey, I didn't think I could do yeah. X, Y, and Z, and you mm -hmm. were the reason that I could. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's, you know, like, especially after the shows and stuff like that, where people just come up and, and you know, just, you know, just like you described. I always tell people, you know, follow your dreams. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.